start from the beginning. How was it for you guys starting with it? God does something really nice, God makes it twice. That's why we got DNA, the twins. Give it up for my crew, DNA! The DNA twins. DNA! 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 Hustlers, we, 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 and we're singers, so we want to use what we have, our talents, to get what we want. Our journey began from high school, yeah? Yeah. We were sort of like the entertainment gurus in I mean, high school. Boys. I mean, like, our lives have always been like, um, even up till now, like it's, it's always been like favor, man, favor of God. We, we were in the choir, and then um, from from there we started going out of school, sneaking out of school to go to the studio and record, and then we we'll come back. We we'll come back late, late, and our dad the slap, the slap, <laughs> the beating. <laughs> one of that one of that time when we now did that, went to the studio, recorded was actually one of our friends that paid for like the studio session for us and after recording we came back to the, to the house and we, played in, we were just playing the song like in Palo like randomly and we didn't tell we didn't, we didn't tell anybody that it was us it was that us sang the song and all of a sudden my mom goes and she's moving to the song my dad too is moving he's asking who, who is this the song? Who, like, the song? we're the ones and he's like Come on, like it's, it's our song. We recorded it. This is one of the songs you, you beat us up for. <laughs> All these slaps that you gave us. And then from that day, he started supporting us. Basically, high school, high school was where the passion basically yeah, like started, started from. from. Yeah. And then from there, we went to uh, X, X Factor. Factor. I'm Clinton and I'm Blair, and together we make the DNA twins. A friend that introduced us, like she gave us a poster. She was a friend and a neighbor as well. She gave us a poster and said like, yo, you guys always sing in the house, you guys always play your songs. Like, why don't y'all just um, go record, um, I'm sorry, go for the audition rather. For X Factor. Factor. And we thought about it and we're like, hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. And then two days later, we actually went for it. We were supposed to be there for 6 a.m. We went for and 7. We were there for 7. Yeah. Right? To a crowd of like, 3,000 3, people, people outside, alone, just, just outside. Two small 70 year old boys. <laughs> the old X Factor Twins, X Factor Twins, X Factor Twins. Yeah, our name was X Factor Twins. <laughs> what? And we're going for X Factor. In our minds, in our heads, we're, we're destined for the show. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to our greatest surprise, we got, we got there outside in the midst of like close to 3,000 people outside. And then this man just walks up to us and he's like, Are you guys twins? I'm like, yes sir, we're twins. He's like, what's your name? Blair, what's your name? Clinton. I was like, mm, okay. He wrote our names down somewhere and then he left. Ten minutes later, he comes back and he gives us tags. tags. I'm like, we like, We did not do, we've not, we came there for the auditions. We've not done the auditions. We've not even gotten inside to do the auditions and we already have tags. Like, how do we have tags? Like, like how, how do we skip like the first stage, stage to the next stage? That was actually when it dawned on us that we actually were Our being, favored. yeah, yeah, we we're, were favored and we had the grace of God like working yeah. with us and for us. And so we now got in after then to like the next stage, which was like the second stage, right? That was the main stage where we had to actually now sing. sing. And then we sang and they said they'll come, they'll get back to us in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we, we went back home. Two weeks later, they did not call us. We thought they were going to call us. They didn't call us. We waited, 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 they didn't call. Then all of a sudden, one night like that, they just called. They say, um, you guys get your things ready. You made it to the next round of X Factor auditions in Lagos, the main auditions in Lagos. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll be flying to Lagos tomorrow afternoon. Whoa, whoa. We're like, what, how? Yo, it was like a dream come true, man. We're like, how wait, wait, how, how did this all happen? All this just going so fast. You're off here, see my mom, Gee! 
Fast forwarding now to the, the live auditions, right? Like this is the one that you have like the cameras and they, they show on like TV and all that stuff. Prior to that, we're already everywhere. Do you understand? We were already everywhere. Like, what I mean everywhere? We're in newspapers. Yes. We're on we blog sites. We're other part. We we're on other part. Adverts. So, they use us for the adverts. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, after the audition, the Abuja auditions, when they call us to say we made it to the Lagos one, before we even got to Lagos, our faces were all over the newspapers. 17 year old. 17 year old twins make it to X Factor auditions. Oh. We're like, what? We went to, for the actual auditions in Lagos where we met M.I. Abaga, Oyeka, Oenu, and uh, uh, Reggie uh, Rockstone. Reggie Rockstone. Reggie yeah. Rockstone. GNE. DNA yes, Twins. DNA Twins. Yes, sir. After we sang together, he asked us to sing individually to test our individual strengths. Let's go. Marketable. And the fact that we could sing and we could dance and we could entertain. At some point, Reggie Rockson said, I think you're marketable. You're marketable. Yeah, and then that was when it dawned on us that, yeah, we're actually on the right path. We just said, you know what, let's just go from here. We did X Factor. Mm -hmm. Did like finish at the quarter finals? Yeah, yeah quarter finals of, of X Factor. We didn't win. Yeah, but, but it was a it great was experience. A very, for us, very man. big experience for mm -hmm. us. A big exposure. Um, um, we gained a lot for me. It was a it was a huge stepping stone for us. Yes, yeah, like mm -hmm. after after we finished from X Factor, I think like two years later, two, years later, two yeah. or three, two or three years later, uh, we. We didn't. We were not where we wanted to be, so we felt like we needed, we needed that thing, and God helped us somehow, some way, somehow, some way. We went for the voice auditions as well. We got picked. You can take everything I have. You can break everything I am. Like the sky scraper. Week after we got picked from The Voice Nigeria, we're going to. We're, we're, should I should I just say it? No, we're yeah. going to Lagos. Okay, yeah, we're going to Lagos for for to just go and get hustle. Like I, I mean, like we're trying to come to Lagos to you know look for money to to um, go shopping before we went to South Africa because of the time they're shooting in South Africa. And lo and behold. We got kidnapped. kidnapped. Abuja based music X Factor contestant DNA Twins kidnapped. Yeah, we got kidnapped on our way um, to Lagos from Abuja. Uh, that's, let me, mind you, this is a week after we just got accepted into The Voice Nigeria. And two weeks before we traveled to South Africa. Yes, just two weeks before it was time to travel for the actual show in South Africa. We're like, what is going on here? One minute you just kiss your mom on her forehead and tell her bye. We're coming back next. We're coming back to Abuja next week. Let's just go to Lagos, go to the bus station, get into the bus. Two hours later, while you're sleeping, you just hear gunshots. Gun shot. Boom! When they shot at the driver, funny enough, they shot the driver's left eye off. We now came out of the car and started running. You know, you know this, you know this thing where I could see Blair was in my front and I could see where somebody just like used like a cutlass across his leg but you know when you say there's like a narrow escape, escape like his leg just and when i saw that i'm like jesus these guys were actually like serious yo so, so we, we took off into took the off bush, into the bush. Oh, morning. Do, 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 do. we ran for like close to 30 minutes into the bush into an, into, an, into an hour bro yeah 30 minutes into an hour like to an hour like into the bush at some point we couldn't see anybody we we're not happy the both of us were not happy that yeah, ah, we lost to, them yeah we're not trying to make calls yeah we're not brought out our phones trying to make calls to see if uh maybe somebody can come and save us and then from there Lo and behold, we did not know that all that run we have been running since, we ran into we're running their, into their den den their their squad their house <laughs> <laughs> like so so it's like the ones that were chasing us were behind but the main ones that were in the house waiting, the big boys the big boys were there waiting for us and then 
Apparently, it was just the two of us. And guess what? These guys couldn't even speak English. They they just wanted money, man. So yeah, they, man. they chased us in there. We were in that bush for four days, four feeding, days. On, feeding, feeding on, on mangoes, mangoes, feeding on um, Gary, Gary mixed with, with um, Maggi, Maggi, and salt and pepper. Assault. And, and onions. Yeah, they, they were Fulani guys apparently. Like, yeah, we stayed there for four days. That that's that's what we were eating. We we're basically feeling right. so so every morning, every morning, early in the morning by six a.m., they wake us up and we'll, and we'll go, deep go deeper, deeper into, into the, bush the bush because they were paranoid that the police would probably come and catch them or and us. So every morning by six a.m., they wake us up, we go walk like two hours deeper into the mind you were sitting on the floor with ants just gathering everywhere there was even this point where where we were so hungry and tired of the walk and everything they made us yo this is actually very very sad but yeah we were literally drinking water from the ground whatever I and we to slap do. if you don't drink the water too yeah that thing. in all that time while all this was happening the both of us were praying um clean to tell me Keep praying. I'll tell him keep praying. When one person gets tired, we're like, don't get tired. Keep praying. And then all of a sudden, that evening, um, my mom calls, and then she told them she has some money. She was able to get some money. Would they agree for it? They said no. They will not agree. They, they cut the phone. And the next morning, I think they started talking to themselves, and they, I think they themselves were sort of like tired. And mm -hmm. they, from everything, so the first two days they were really brutal and very harsh on us then the last two days it was like were everything really just nice everything just changed they wake up in the morning and call us my friend my friend you go and plug mango you plug and divorce, divorce and call divorce. And, they, and they, they were treating us so nice i'm like wait isn't that the same niggas that were like almost killing us like two days ago and everything but then that was when we got to realize that it was actually god doing his thing mm -hmm. you understand because there's nothing you want to tell me that it was just a bare man type thing right so to cut the long story short, my mom came to um, shout out to my mom. We yeah, love you so much, mommy. Strongest woman in the world yeah. that we ever know and we will ever know, man. Yeah. Because that lady walked three she walked hours, three hours into, into the, bush the bush to come get to us. Come and get us. Them that money. Yeah. God helped. Everything happened, played out, and we got released like a week to the time we we're supposed to travel to South Africa for, for the, the Voice, Voice Nigeria. Yo. We got released a week before we were supposed to travel and we came out and everybody was like, no, you guys can't go to the voice again. Our family members, our friends, no, no, you guys, you guys just came out from being kidnapped. How many days ago you want to start traveling to South Africa for the voice? We're like, nah, forget that thing. We're going. We're called for this thing where nothing can bring us down. If we didn't, if we did not die in that place, then we could do we anything. We can't die any other place. Yeah. And we can do, we can do anything to set our minds to, to do. But The Voice basically was was another really great platform for us because it was another add up to our build up. We we did The Voice. We didn't still win. We didn't win this one still. But immediately we got out of The Voice Nigeria. We got a lot of offers from different yeah, record labels. A lot, of open doors. a lot of open doors here and there. And and from there basically like the 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 brand and the name DNA was more yeah, it was sort stronger. of like solidified like it was strong it became stronger mm -hmm. and then yeah we we knew what we wanted even more and this time we we had clearer ideas on how to get it so mm -hmm. like but yeah we came out of the voice nigeria and we started looking for a record label maven activated when we got out of the voice that was so so different labels called us but guess what Maybe was the only label that that was really, really on our mind. Yeah, that was really on our mind that we wanted. Do you understand? So we're like, how do we do this? And then we started talking to people here and there. And then God helped us. Ike Osaki mm -hmm. he he had direct contact with uh, an executive in in Maven. Shout out to Tega. Shout out to Tega. Shout out uh, to Ike. Yeah, and Ike. So um, Ike said he was going to help us put in a word mm -hmm. for Tega, and he put in a word and. The next thing we were asked to send our songs or things we've done or some stuff like that we sent it and just hoped for the best and on the first, first day, day of january, january 2017, 2017 we got, got a, call a call from tega saying we're not the alpha now 
guys. Yeah, so so what's good? Studio. Come to the studio. Come to the studio. <laughs> like, come um, on. It was like, Jazz is here. He we want to see you guys. Right? Mind you, we were in a friend's house that day. We just went to go eat. Like, yeah. no general first things. Like, yeah. Come on, I pray. We left the food, the dining, the wine, and everything. Jabber. <laughs> All the way from the mainland <gasps> to the island. To the island, man. We even bath that day. Bath as <laughs> DNA signed to me. Signed to me. And, and it's it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's like another dream come true to again. For us. Yeah. You understand? That first day we went, we recorded How Can. Yeah. And we finished the recording from A to, to Z. Z. Yeah. And Jazzy gave us the beat and he gave us like he so he helped us write some of the parts of it as well. So we, it was like a, a joint effort to make the song and boom, that first day. Because of the fact that from the competitions we were more of performing at, we sort of found it difficult to like Understand carve sound. a sound for ourselves, mm -hmm. right? We both had, as artists and as twins, we both had um, individual sounds that we were trying to put together mm -hmm. to make one. Which was not easy. Which was not anyway. easy, as at the time. So it's like we were trying, we, we did uh, How Can. How Can was the first song we mm -hmm. dropped. And then from How Can, we tried another sound. We went to Queen. Queen of the dance. Come give me dance. Queen did well, but it got more reviews from people living abroad. Uh, then from there we did Adama, Adama we featured Mayo Kun, we still didn't work. Adama, hey, I mean like people loved it, but it's like it didn't get the reach that we wanted it to get as at the time. Uh, uh, but funny enough, maybe what if it was just in our heads and we're yeah. just thinking it didn't work because yeah. obviously like people knew these songs. Mm -hmm. right? They knew the but songs but then, it's like then it was crazy because our Instagram and our the views, the numbers were not matching up. They were not okay, matching even up. Even if people knew them, so like, like why, are they, fans, why are the numbers our fans, not matching up? Our fans were not being interactive with it like oh we'll, we'll post a video of someone dancing, oh, they say, oh, nice, hot, hot, we'll drop the song, this song out today, Baba, they just put fire, 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 fire. <laughs> but like, we're not really, really getting like, feeling the love, the feedback. It, it's like, it's like there was a disconnect between, between us, us and, the and fans. our fans as at that time. So uh, that was the point where we're, we're thinking like, do, do they want us to do something else? Do they want us to sing in a particular no, no, way? way? Do they want us to sing R&B? Do they want us to sing trap? Do they want us to, to do Afrobeat and boom? At this point, everything just went black. black. We were confused. We were depressed. We were, we were sad, we were fighting between ourselves. ourselves. Like We didn't know what to do, we didn't know what, what angle to go. And at the same time, people were, were, were saying, different people were, had different opinions about what was going on. Yeah, Some people these guys, felt were lazy. They yeah, were lazy, Some people these guys get money now. Because they're signed to Mavens, uh, maybe that's why they are, they are lazy. Some say they know Sabi sing, Don Jazzy don't waste the money. Uh, it's like... Uh, uh, maybe records, if I no sign these boys, they're lazy. You know, we had different things. It just we were in the complete state of depression. But then something came up. Yep. And guess what came up? DNA. We remembered who we were and who we've always been from all the times from X Factor, mm -hmm. from high school, the kidnap, everything. And we're like, you know what? We all these always, things, we always uh, yes, go we for, always what, go we for want what we for. want. What we want. And all these things cannot just be happening for nothing. We have to be great. We have our fans. By any means. Yes, uh, yes, a lot of people still didn't understand our sound or didn't understand where we're coming from or what we're trying to do. But we still had diehard fans who really loved us from X no. Factor, from The Voice, from you name it. Like we, we, we had people that, that were praying, sending us messages on a daily, and we're mm -hmm. like, you know what? We can't even let these people down. Even if it's for just this. 30k people or just this 50k people that love DNA genuinely, we're gonna make it and we're gonna do it. Yeah, and, so we, and, came and, back and up, we came back and we dropped Star. 
We dropped IO. We're like, never that. <laughs> never. This industry cannot take us down. I swear to We are kings. Never, and ever. Then from we there, did. it's like that. We did IO. Uh, we dropped a video for Star. And then from Star. We dropped Ife Sinachi. We must dance, so we must dance, so we must dance, so we must dance, so. And then from Ife Sinachi, we've been going, and right now we're here with the, the Gemini, Gemini EP. EP. Like it's, it's cool. what up? Yeah! What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah, guys. Um, today is actually one of the most exciting days of our yeah, lives. Yeah, man. It's DNA um, Day, World DNA, world DNA, DNA Day, man. World Gemini Day. Yeah, man. We just dropped an EP, our first EP. There's no going back anymore, man. Like, we were depressed for so long. At some point, I had to cut my hair. It was helpful at some point. He wasn't happy about it because obviously, I didn't tell him that I was gonna cut my hair. This nigga just came in, in my room one night and next thing he sees me with my dreads off and he's I'm like, like you gotta be kidding me, right? Like, are you, are you, are you really joking? Why, why were you mad about the haircut? I was mad, I was mad about the haircut because firstly, I felt like we are a team and we're a brand and anything you do, he does, can affect me and anything I do can affect him. And I felt like any decision anybody's making, the other person should be aware of it because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's about the brand. It's mm -hmm. not about one person. It's about the brand, like how people perceive us to be and everything. But over time, I got to realize that um, it's, it was not necessarily the way I was I was thinking or I had it in my head because at the end of the day, for him to make that type of move, it meant that like it was a big move for him. Do you understand? And it, it was on a totally different level. I was on a stress yeah. mode that I needed to detox and and just release everything of like from my past to to when we're depressed to everything. I just needed it out. I needed it out. I was hot, I was uncomfortable. This was like 3 a.m. in the morning, like, I'm just like, you know what, where's my scissors? You cut your hair yourself? Yeah, cut it myself. <laughs> cut it, held it, and dumped it on the floor. Everything from, from the beginning till now has just been like our process. If you listen properly, you know that we've never taken no for an answer. Never. And we can't take no for an answer Not because now. we know that this is what we are called to do. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like we, we feel it in our soul. We have a mission. It's, it's it's deeper than music. It's spiritual. Like we have to we so, have to so, ac to accomplish it. Whether somebody likes it or not, whether it takes it takes how long or how not, it's like we gotta make it. We would always love and appreciate all our fans, yeah. all the guys, the girls, you know, everyone that has always supported from day one till now. I mean. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. DNA V never We're dies. We're going to rule. We're going to rule. And it's going to be like a shock. It's going to be like, whoa, this guy's again. How did they do it? How did they manage to do it? It's a different thing. DNA and things like Well, of course, like, we're, we're twins, right? But individually, we have our different mm -hmm. characters and behaviors, do you understand? Like, there are some things he likes that I don't like, there are some things I fuck with that he doesn't fuck with. It's like that, it's like, it's normal, right? But um, basically, whatever we try to do, we always try to merge, balance. find a balance. Be a balance. I personally have a sound, he personally has a sound. Right. Like, so we, we merge those sounds to make one sound. So we Gemini's, and then we're also twins and and you know you get you get the gist of Gemini. Go go read about Gemini. Gemini EP is the hottest EP right now in the world. In the whole me. wide world. Me. Take it to anywhere. Tell them I said so. Got her songs like Charbanko, Kayama, uh, Mona Lisa, and Wanting More. Yeah, man. Everywhere on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Audio DNAV, DNAV. Let's make videos uh, uh, with the Gemini EP with each Fire, song. let's go, let's Tell go, let's go, let's videos. go. You know what you want, your DNAV. Send us this video. Let's go Send crazy. us these videos. Are you vibing to the Gemini Keep songs? streaming. Stream the song. Keep sharing. Share. Share to the world. Let the world hear our DNA. We, we never die. We are strong and we Forever. Boo. <laughs> <laughs>